Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, very first look at Active Connect working with NAV. Uh, in the background here, I have the NAV customer list, and I'm just going to refresh it. And you'll notice the very first customer is Spotsmeyer Furnishings. Here I'm going to go into Active Connect and bring up my data map called NAV Cust. And this is looking at this spreadsheet right here. Really simple. Just two customers, me and my brother. And then over here, the first customer has a couple ship to address codes and the second one just has one. And we can look at that data here. There's the customers. Just like regular old act <coughs> Active Connect. And I uh, will go ahead and just run this integration. And we get a message that we're used to seeing. If I come back over to NAV and do a refresh, you'll see there are at the top of the list two new customers, me and my brother. And if I go into me and then go into ship to addresses, you can see the ship to records are there as well. And if I run this again, I'll get two errors. And if I look at my error log, it'll tell me that those customers already exist. And the new error type is nav web service. And by the way, I just got an email on my phone with those errors in them. And I'll close that down. So that's it. I mean, obviously, there is uh, a lot to do. But um, the, the heart of it, the framework of how it's going to work, is all there. Um, I'm still using Active Connect to take all of the relational data and serialize it and create XML in memory. And then I'm passing off that uh, XML to a web service. Let me just show you that really quick. So this is the standard web service page in NAV. And you'll see at the top of the list there is a, a web service that is talking to a code unit in NAV. And here's my address over here. And this single web service will accept XML for any type of uh, master record or transaction, the way I've created it. And then once the data gets passed into the web service, the code unit will evaluate what type of data it is and then send it to the proper XML port that will need to be set up uh, ahead of time. So it is uh, all working and um, I'll continue to work on it probably not this week or next week. Uh, probably the biggest challenge is working on the schema and finding a way to automate that because there's so many fields in NAV and typing and all of the fields into a XML port would take quite a long time. Anyway, uh, pretty exciting, I, I think. Um, I've talked to a couple people about NAV data conversion. They all say it's still kind of a bear, even given all the tools. So maybe this is a way to make it easier. That's it. Have a good weekend. I'm leaving to Havasu tomorrow morning.